I'm not kidding. I had this idea like minutes after publishing that last video about tasks. But that's okay. Uh, I used this the last days to test it and I'm really happy with it. So remember that I had this purchase here and this creator ideas in case I needed to go to that node to add a new item, right? Now, what if they are buttons here, right here? That would be even better here on my phone because the moment I open Obsidian, the first thing that pops up is the home page. And imagine at the top, this button is where I can just add a new item to purchase. Uh, it's not fancy, okay? <laughs> it just brings us to that page. But to do that, we need to understand uh, uh, a detail here. Uh, an Obsidian node is a place where you can add HTML code. Don't go away. <laughs> it, it's not that hard. HTML is the type of code people use to write uh, websites. But we just need one type of code to create this button. So let me show you how to do it. If you know HTML, you already know what I'm going to do, right? So just copy what I'm doing here and you'll be fine. So button is how you create a button. But you have to tell uh, the website, and in this case, Obsidian, where is the button? So you have to close the button. Uh, so this will create a button and we can put anything in between. For example, click here. So if we go to uh, view mode, there it is. This is not gonna work because there's no link there. It's, it's just a button. We created a button using this codes here. Now, instead of click here, what if we do something like this? Don't go away just yet because there is more. <laughs> That's so cool. Now it's clickable and I can go to that node, right? But if I'm putting two or three buttons here, this is going to be crowded, especially on my phone. So maybe instead of purchases, we can put a, that a vertical line and maybe a shopping cart. And voila. So to make my life easier, I'm gonna copy this here, put it here. And now instead of purchases, let's do, I don't know, uh, let's do random tasks. And here we can add this one here. And maybe we can copy this and put it here. And wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Look, this is not fancy or anything like that. It, it just brings you to the page. But that's the purpose of the link, remember? So now if I have this idea of a new item to add, it's just a matter of tapping here and going to that page. Now, you can make this even better. This is my real buttons here. <laughs> As you can see, they are a little bit more fancy than this here. And that demands a little bit more of tweaking on Obsidian itself. It's a feature that we can use to customize other things in Obsidian, so it deserves its own video. Meanwhile, I'd like to ask you a favor. I started a new channel. It's about my maker projects. And if you like that kind of thing, please go check the channel. You'll find a link here. And if you like what you see there, please subscribe. It's a new channel and it will help a lot. Thanks for watching. See you soon.